Hey guys, T. Bolive here, and uh, I have today a look at the brand new Tier 7 Japanese destroyer, the Yudachi. Uh, I'm sorry that this video didn't get out before the boat was released, it just came out a couple hours ago, uh, but you know how real life can be sometimes. Uh, so anyways, let's take a look at it. Uh, we're going to take a look. I've got some gameplay footage for you guys. Uh, we're going to go through the stats real quick. We're going to compare it to the uh, Tier 7 Tech Tree gunboat, the Shiratsuyu, which is actually what this Yudachi is. It's a modified Shiratsuyu class. Uh, so we'll take a look at the stats, how it compares to the Tech Tree, what's different about it, and then we'll take a look at some gameplay footage. So... Uh, let's jump right in. So like I said, it is a Shiratsuyu class. It's a tier 7 um, And a lot of the stats are going to be pretty much identical I've got both these boats fitted out uh, the same historical camo same supply same equipment Just so we can get a fair comparison between the two and that we can get a kind of a look and see uh, You know what's what it's got going for it. So uh, first off it does have fewer hit points than the tech tree counterpart not a big difference but uh, definitely a difference there this is actually the least number of smallest hit point pool of all tier 7 destroyers so don't get hit um, <laughs> it definitely dies easy if uh, if you don't get out of the way of uh, incoming rounds so uh, same top speed uh, the Udachi does have a little bit slower acceleration um, so it, it is uh, not quite as quick. Same guns, same reload, same traverse. Uh, for a gunboat, I'm really disappointed in the turret traverse speed, actually in both of these boats. Um, it is not too bad. AP does 403 against, uh, you know, on a full roll. So against other destroyers, it hits okay. Um, but that reload time, that turret traverse really hurt you when the, tor the, when the other destroyers start dancing. Um, and it doesn't do a whole lot against cruisers or battleships with its guns. Uh, torpedoes. So it's got, on paper, the same looking torpedoes. But these are actually deep water torpedoes on the Udachi, which means that they do not hit destroyers. They'll still hit cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers just fine. Uh, but they will sail right underneath an enemy destroyer. Uh, which means that if you come up against another destroyer with the lousy guns, you probably are better off running. Um, but you can see the uh, there is a, a little bit longer reload time, 70.5 seconds on the Udachi versus 67.5 on the Shiratsuyu. Um, higher damage though too, about 300 more damage. Uh, longer range, 9.36 kilometers with historical camo. Uh, and then the chance of flooding is uh, really good 26.75 now that does include the elite bonus where do we go right here um took the elite bonus for the torpedoes so i get the extra chance of flooding a little bit higher damage roll um where were we so you get that higher uh, flood flood percentage 6.2 6% higher flood damage potential, which is really good. Um, AA, the large caliber is exactly the same, but the uh, small caliber is laughable. So uh, try to avoid the planes. Uh, surface detection, though, is just a little bit better than the uh, Shiratsuyu. And uh, that is with running the surface detection uh, concealment here and with running the high-grade coal which is going to help a little bit there too. So uh, take a look at the camouflage real quick. Just so you can see, it does boost your torpedo range, your speed, your traverse speed, your surface detection. So pretty much the same as the uh, this one. Yeah, exactly the same. Uh, and then we'll take a peek at the commander I was using for the videos just so you can see. Where'd he go? That's him. Yeah, that's him. Um, so... I did go with Giant Hunter, figure if, since the Torps are really uh, the big thing on this, might as well go with that. I did take IFHE, uh, I felt it was more beneficial than the AP. Uh, you do get an engine boost, so I took engine boost, uh, minimize damage. Uh, you only get one smoke on this versus two with the Tech Tree, So, but I still took Mist Weaver because it gives you a longer smoke and a larger smoke. And if I only get one, I want to make the most out of it. So. Uh, other than that, options are pretty standard, nothing too fancy. Uh, I think that's all I really wanted to cover. Um, so we're going to jump into the gameplay footage. I am going to narrate some of it just to kind of give you guys an idea of what was going on with my thoughts. Uh, there's a bit of a learning curve on this boat, um, and it's definitely, I found, best played in a division 
uh, on voice chat where you can communicate with uh, people who are happy to support you, especially if you roll against uh, roll up against another destroyer. So, anyways, uh, let's jump into that and uh, see what we got. All right. So, unfortunately, those torps just ran out. I actually didn't even launch them against the Independence. I had launched them against a Leander a little bit earlier in the clip, um, who died right before my torpedoes got to him. Uh, so, they would have been good, but, uh, yeah, he didn't quite make it that long. So, uh, I, got, I was watching because I thought, oh, man, maybe I'll pick up a couple of hits on the Independence, and they ran out before they reached him, so... He was backing up and just wasn't quite within that nine kilometers that I had to, to run with. But that's okay. Torpedoes just reloaded. Independence is still right there. And uh, yeah, he's not gonna get away from those. So I kind of glossed over, these torpedoes are very quick, they've got a uh, 74 knot speed on the, on the torpedoes, so they're very quick torpedoes. So, wasn't expecting that ACAT right there when I saw him. Um, so... If you sit, pay attention to the minimap, you can see my two division mates are uh, kind of behind me there off to the left. Um, and I was talking with them and uh, coordinating. I wanted to make sure that they were, especially my cruiser, was uh, in a position and ready to shoot at this guy. Um, I fired torpedoes at him. And as I mentioned, deep water torpedoes are going to go right underneath the destroyer. They're not going to hit him. Um, but I was playing this before the boat got released, and he didn't know that. So that trick may not be as effective in the future as it was that time, but hey, I got him to turn broadside to uh, to my division mates, and they spanked him. So it worked then, and uh, I'm sure it'll work again in the future. It just may not be quite as effective. So uh, one thing I did forget to mention, uh, Udachi does come with two torpedo reload boosters, which instantly reload one rack of torpedoes. Uh, so you can see there, that's three racks of torpedoes that are out on the North Carolina and uh, kind of miscalculated his uh, his speed when I launched him. So I only got five out of the 12 into him. But um, So you do get two torpedo reload boosters. They take two minutes to cool down before you get your second one. Um, but it does reload one rack of torpedoes and it reloads whichever rack is the closest to being done reloading. So if you've... If you stagger them, it's going to reload not the one that's the furthest from being done, but the one that's the closest to being done. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, it depending on your situation, it sometimes can be best to uh, to wait and use the re torpedo reload booster when the others are ready. That way, you can fire three racks at once. Uh, sometimes it's better, like in this case, I fire I re reloaded midway through and got another rack out on that Nagato. So now you can see I've got one rack that's about 20 seconds from being done, and the other one's going to be, you know, further behind, probably 40 or 50 seconds. So uh, just keep that in mind because sometimes that'll help, sometimes it won't. Got lucky on that Nagato. He uh, put out his, the first flood from the first two racks, and then I caught him with a flood on the second rack, and uh, he ended up flooding out. So. So this destroyer is definitely not going to be for everybody. It requires the sneaky, sneaky type of gameplay and strategy that I'm not really all that good at. Um, I'm still learning destroyers. I've uh, I've only gotten up to tier seven on the U.S. and the German lines so far, um, and up to tier five on the or I'm sorry, tier six on the Japanese gunboats. So I'm still learning to play the destroyers. I'm definitely not the best at them. Um, and this one, because of how bad the guns are and the fact that you can't hit other destroyers with the torpedoes, uh, it definitely uh, had a bit of a learning curve that um, took me a few games to get the hang of. Um, that being said, I have grown to like this boat and the potential for what it can do. 
Uh, I did buy one for my personal account uh, because I didn't I did end up enjoying it and I think it'll be really good for uh, the flooding missions in trying to get your floods in uh, because it's got such a high flood per flood chance uh, but it's I think it's gonna be a really tough boat to play solo um, just because of the uh, lost my train of thought. I think it's going to be tough to play solo because of the, the guns and the inability to hit other destroyers. So uh, I know I had, I played a lot of these games uh, with my good buddy Lost Soul, who you'll see his name popping up here a few times. Um, and having him backing me up in a cruiser when another destroyer rolled up on me, because that happened quite often, uh, was invaluable. So, uh, along with a couple other teammates, uh, Sluggo from Ghost and uh, some of the other some of the other guys that I, I play with regularly. So having them there, um, this just kind of shows, since he wasn't looking really at me, what the guns are able to do to another destroyer. Uh, you know, getting some full rolls there, high high three hundreds, some decent rolls. But just tacking another destroyer really isn't what this boat is good at. And uh, that detection's pretty low. It's got some really great range on the torpedoes. Um, but as most of you know, the torpedo range is really only good if you happen to find somebody driving a battleship who doesn't know how to make it go left or right or faster or slower. And so it really is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, that's my one of my buddies, Stormbringer from Ghost. We uh, ended up getting dropped against each other, and he managed to knock out one of my torpedo racks as I was rolling up on him, which is what saved his life right there. Uh, except if I had had both racks, he'd be dead. Uh, you can see my torpedo reload booster is about to come off a cooldown. It just did, and so I'm going to get another rack out on him right now. Um, he is flooding, but I don't know how long that flood's going to last. There's my torps going in, and here come the shots. Front. He got me. Oh no. And I got him. Nope. Nope, I didn't. Lost. Thanks for securing the kill for me. You're going to see a lot of that in this video. So this was fun. Uh, that Belfast ended up being... Uh, Pretty tough, pretty tough to kill. Um, you're going to see I end up hitting him a number of times with torpedoes. So he ducked into his smoke. So I had launched those where the cone said he was going to be. But once he popped his smoke, I had a feeling he was going to stay. So I hit the reload booster and put another rack towards the middle of his smoke. You can see how that the torpedoes, even on a narrow spread, do tend to get kind of wide towards the end there. Um, so I got a few torpedoes into him and ended up getting a couple into that Colorado too. This was uh, this was another good one. I was pretty excited about this one. The uh, I put two two racks out for that Oigan, and he's just content to cruise along in a straight line. So I'm not detected, so I'm not shooting at him because I don't want to give my position away yet. And had I known that I was going to get some help from teammates, I probably would have only fired one rack and then fired two at the Sharnhorse instead, since the second rack was unnecessary on the Oigan, but. Eh. things you don't know are going to happen. So he's going to catch three. Cause you can see at, at that distance, that torpedo spread got really wide. So I caught him with three, but that fourth one missed. So here I uh, launched two racks just because the Colorado and the New Orleans together were a... a pretty tempting target and that Colorado I'm not sure how far out he saw those torpedoes or if he just got lucky and split them but he did uh, the New Orleans though not so lucky there we go I wanted to torp the uh, Algerie but with where he was going I was gonna end up torping the island instead so changed targets fired over at the uh, Fuso Algeri tried to counter tort. Well, it wasn't too bad. Got a flood out of the deal. 
see if I can set a fire. Got an, used my uh, torpedo reload booster. Got the uh, second rack out or third rack out rather. And of course, those torps look great. And Lost comes in to secure the kill at the last second. Thanks, buddy. Never gets old giving you a hard time about that. So, this Colorado apparently forgot how to use the gas pedal. It's okay. Torps worked just fine, even though they popped underneath them. So this is a little bit of a longer clip, and I left it because the... I felt it was it was a good example of what the boat can do and what it can't. So here's a Colorado and a North Carolina. They're both pushing on our base. You can see over there at the left of the screen, uh, Lost Soul is in his Belfast, and he's kind of at the front end of the cap. And these guys are pretty much intent on pushing our base, and so I'm trying to slow them down and to hurt them as much as I can before they get there. Keep them from capping us out because uh, we do have a lead at the in points. Just got another kill that put us up. Good job, Sluggo. Um, but I did pop my smoke and started firing HE uh, in an attempt to set some fires and to try to hurt hurt them and slow them down. If I could get their attention to come towards me and away from the base, it was going to give uh, give the other guys that were over there a chance to maybe shoot them in the back, help defend the base. Uh, even with the smoke and with uh, my position known, pretty much, they, they really weren't interested in, in me. They were con dead set on pushing on that base. So got my torpedoes reloaded again, and I still have the booster down there. You see, I, I didn't use the last one. So there's two racks out, three racks out, and now it's just a matter of trying to stay alive. So I've got pretty good line on both of those guys, and we're going to see Colorado takes two. Takes three, takes four, takes five. He goes six, he goes down. And then the Colorado is in just the right position. I'm sorry, the North Carolina was in just the right position, and he's going to take a whole bunch too. So, didn't kill him, but as you can see, we definitely, uh, definitely did some damage, put the hurt on him, and allowed our uh, team to finish him off. Thanks, Lost. And uh, secured the base, kept him from taking it. So this was a case of uh, sidetracked a little bit. Uh, my team already had C and D, and I started at the far end, so I wasn't really in a position to help them cap. And this isn't really a great boat for that, anyways. So I decided to stay back and see who I could uh, who I could see and B, and if I get some torps on them. Uh, with that Mahan right there, though, it was time to run. So I, I, I burned my one smoke, but used it as cover so I could get away. Use my uh, speed boost to try to get around the island where I wasn't going to be detected. And this Nuremberg is actually who I was trying to get at the first place, but he had uh, gone the other way and used my reload booster. A little surprised. He, he ate all four torps, but didn't do quite enough damage to kill him. And instead of turning out like I should have, I turned back in trying to finish the kill, and that happened. So, uh, yeah, not my proudest moment, but, you know, we all have them. Uh, this was good. Uh, Johnny there is going to sail in a nice straight line. He's not going to turn. He's not going to uh, play with his speed. And uh, so he's going to end up eating a few torpedoes. He does see me there. His secondary is unloaded on me. Um, but it's too late. And he's going to eat all 12 torpedoes. I fired three full racks at him. Didn't kill him. Came really close. 45,000 damage and one torpedo salvo. But it was a higher tier battleship. Bismarck is uh, pretty tough, as most of us know, and, and I just couldn't quite get it done. So this is the last clip. Um, got a little bit of a funny spot, so I thought I'd include it. So I want to say thanks, guys, for sitting through the video with me and watching. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, supporting. Uh, please leave comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, what do you guys want to see? I do have that press account. I'd be happy to show you guys uh, videos of... Uh, other things so this a cat surprised me and uh yeah uh couldn't get my guns around on him though i was trying thankfully he wasn't looking at me <laughs> uh and i almost got away so anyways uh let me i've got a few ideas for things videos that are going to come out soon i've been working on uh, but let me know what you guys want to see as well 
thanks again for watching and uh, see you guys out there.